Now, everybody, a lot of military airplanes, just like this SR-71 Blackbird, have a very interesting switch or handle in the cockpit. And it's this one right here. It says drag, shoot on it. And yes, what happens if you, well, pull on it is a parachute deploys out of this SR-71. Now, these parachutes are used while landing to stop faster, mostly on planes that do not have the facilities to stop fast, like the space shuttle, right? It would be just too much weight to put like proper brakes in it or something, or like this SR-71, this plane was built to fly as fast as possible, we need to save some weight. Also, this plane has to land at a very high speed, and in general, this is a very tough plane to land. You cannot even see what's in front of you. I mean, there's this pillar right in front of you. Great. All right. Oh, God. Runway's down here. It's not very long. It's already put up the chute right there. Okay, that's not been a very good landing. I'm sorry, but what we can see is our little drag chute has come out. My God, this has been a very miserable land. It's very hard to land this plane, from my defense. <laughs> Yes. But yes, as you can see, this drag shoot did come out and it did stop the plane very quickly. Here we go. We literally stopped within like 30 seconds or something on this relatively short runway. No problem at all. And that's really what a drag shoot is for. Now, everybody, so, so I had an idea and it's quite obvious. Right, what if you fit a parachute to an airliner for stopping purposes, right? I mean, yeah, I know, airliners like this 737 right in front of us do have, like, some proper stopping capabilities, you know, with the reverse thrust, for example, which is relatively strong, with the spoilers that you can put out right there. This thing stops very quickly. Actually, you know what? This runway would already be enough to totally handle this plane. But if the stopping performance of this plane alone is already strong, what happens if you put a parachute to it? And I've done this now. Now for this video, I didn't have to put in much work. I could basically just reuse the planes I built for that one video where I tried to fit some big parachutes to some airliners and see if you could, you know, do like a parachute emergency landing where you would just pull the chute and it will just come, come down, you know, in the emergency. What I did though was make them smaller, right? So small, in fact, that you could theoretically fit them in the APU hole. You know, this could actually work. So let's try this out. All right, before we land this now, let's have a bit of a test. Yeah, yes, that's what I'm talking. That's a very big parachute, but let's see. This is probably going to help us stop quite a bit. Let's do it. All right, put the landing gear down. Oh yeah, oh my god, that's what I want. All right, let's put the parachute out. Let's get everything stopped as quickly as possible. And we are stopping. We are stopping. We have stopped. That was quick. That was very quick. Jesus Christ, what a good landing right there. All right, now in the replay. Yes, for sure, I totally compromised that touchdown zone just to make this as smooth as possible, which, you know, kind of worked pretty well. And I mean, we stopped super quickly. I wasn't afraid of not stopping on this landing. Let me just say that. <laughs> okay, you know what? This is giving me some ideas. All right, let's do this. All right, <clears throat> Saba Airport. You know, I'm, I'm kind of worried. This might actually just work. All right, let's do this. Now, this might just be a little bit hard, but let's do this. All right, come on, stop. All right, that's been a bit of a hard... I mean, a rider landing, totally fine. Let's go ahead and stop now. Come on, let's do it. Yes. Yeah. Yes! That's what, that's what I'm talking about. Jesus Christ! Saba Airport, this has been a very professional landing. Now, not really landing a 737 would like to do, you know, on a daily basis. You know, that was pretty hard indeed. But there we go. My goodness! That actually went relatively well. We, did, we didn't even crash or something. It was not super hard. Totally survivable landing for this plane. Here we go. Deploy the parachute in mid-air and also the reverse thrust. This actually went pretty damn well. You know, I'm kind of glad that I created this. This is great. Now, what, what I am wondering about, though, is getting off the ground, though, again. You know, that's probably the flaw here. I mean, you know, while this new design concept enables planes to stop on shorter surfaces, the takeoff is the same. So, um, wait, is this working? Okay, I'll take... What the hell is wrong with you, 737? I didn't expect that. That's actually gone pretty well. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now, I've also done this to the 747-400. This is definitely going to go well. Let's check this. All right. Parachute's working. Let's just see, though. Can we land at Saba Airport? There we go. All right. Now, this for sure is a little bit more frightening. We can do this. Come on. Oh, my God. Uh, all right. You know what? No. Okay. 
Plane is a little bit too big. I mean, this is a 300 meter long runway. Plane 70 meters long, so it's half as long, pretty much. That's not gone very well. Anyway, this is a um, good one. Oh, God. All right. Mm. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Um, No way. I mean, this is a cool idea, though. Look at this big parachute. That's not gone very well, has it? God damn it. All right. We've got St. Bartholomew Airport now here, which is a bit longer here. 600 meter long runway. Let's try this now. Right, you know, this worked actually quite well right here. Yeah, the parachute already out here on the touchdown. Looking good. Coming down now on the runway. That's gone. That's, that's all right now. All right, here we go. And also a stop at St. Bartholomew. I can't believe it. There we go. I mean, we've definitely boosted the stopping performance of this plane, truly. Looking good here. Good experiment. But now the ultimate challenge, the Twin Otter plane. You know that plane that can land anywhere? It doesn't matter. I mean, literally, we've landed this thing on helipads and stuff, and it also now has a parachute built in. All right, let's go ahead and test it out real quick here. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. All right, parachute is working. Let's go ahead and land on this runway now. Maybe do, do this nicely. Make a nice landing. How about that? Oh god. Ha! <laughs> no way! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. That's gone very well. So what happened here is I deployed the parachute in midair already and also put reverse thrust here, which made us stall out, but also qu very quickly stop. That was the quickest stop I've ever seen in my entire life. Maybe not very successful. Sorry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's do this properly now. How about that? Come on. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go and stop quickly. At least a save landing for sure. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That um, was even faster than before. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we've made the quickest stopper even quicker. There we go. That went very fast. Quick stop. I like that. That's what I'm trying to see here. All right, everybody. What a clever idea. Let me try the Concorde. Time now to experience the Concorde in its fullest form. Let's do this now. Coming in for landing here now. Let's do this. Oh god, this is a miserable land. I haven't flown this plane in a long time. I'm sorry. All right, let's do this now. All right, kind of a stop. Let's go ahead and stop the airplane now. Yeah, let's do it. This. Now we are stopping. We're stopping quickly. Now my- Oh, oh, something's wrong here. God damn it. What the hell's wrong with you? Why the- What's the afterburners out? Okay, that's been a bit of a Pegasus landing. And I'm not really motivated to do it again. All right, now thanks to our interesting creation, the plane really did stop in no time, right? I mean, did you ever see um, an airspeed indicator get low that quickly? There you go, that that literally did, took no time. Okay, that could be a good idea. But again, maybe the idea is a bit flawed because, you know, we, you, we do need to take off again from time to time. But that's another story. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Mike, Jacob, Tanner, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man the Human, Robbie, Tim, Matt, Sleepy Boy, Calvin, Kelly Chaos, Ryland, Moritz, Jackie Boy, New the York, Shadow, Noah, and Death Rider.